Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it took us a long time to actually go live. It was like we clicked on go live and then it had to go to space and back, apparently. So anyway, welcome, guys, to right. we're gonna do a quick recap of Jeff Walker's fourth product launch formula masterclass. Uh, yesterday, actually, it would have been Monday. Jeff taught his open cart strategies. And these are strategies that Jeff uses. Uh, he teaches inside his coaching program that have literally generated over a billion dollars in sales. So we're going to go through some takeaways real quickly, real quickly, like so quickly that I can't even say the word quickly. We'll talk about, hopefully we'll get to the Walker W, the tsunami email, all that stuff. Uh, but first, if you haven't watched the lesson, you can still watch the replay. You can sign up to watch it. MattMcWilliams.com forward slash watch Jeff. MattMcWilliams.com forward slash watch Jeff. And as we go along today, starting here in about 13 minutes or so, uh, we've got some guests joining us today. Some of my favorite people in the world, fellow PLF owners who are going to be uh, sharing their stories. So that's really exciting for me today. But first, I want to jump into a few of the takeaways that we got from the open cart, uh, the open cart lesson that Jeff shared on Monday. Before we do though, real quick, click the share button on this. Make sure you share this with a friend. The lessons that we're sharing today are powerful. The stories you're going to hear today are powerful. And when you do share, when you do share, make sure you tell us in the comments so we know and we can give you credit for that, um, which is just awesome. So First quick lesson before we jump on and bring on our guest today. Uh, first reason is have reasons to mail. Mark, I know internally we call these ETMs, uh, excuses to mail. Mm -hmm. But have those reasons to mail. And so once the card opens, it's really easy to just be like, well, the card opened. The card's still open. Uh, card's still open. It's Thursday, you know, say it's a Monday through Friday, Thursday, uh, cart's still open. And then Friday is all about scarcity. You know, like day one, Kelly is, is all about like, it's available. The product's available. Right. And then what, you know, and then what, well, then you, you, you go into to, to day two and it's like, well, it's still available. Right. No. So have a, have an open cart, have a fast action bonus maybe that comes out you know, the second half of open cart, like you announce the excitement, then you have, then you have a mid cart bonus. You know, that's that Jeff calls it the Walker W because typically I wish I had some paper to draw on, but you guys can see typically your sales go like this and then, and then this, and it's kind of like a V, you know, the high points are at the beginning and the end and they still will be because nothing moves people like a deadline and nothing moves people like the excitement at the beginning. But with a mid cart bonus, you can get a little W in there. And then you have case studies, and that's what you're going to hear today. You know, Jeff shared like 45 case studies yesterday, stories, success stories. And so have those excuses to mail. Have those excuses to mail. Hey, Chris Chandler, I have not seen you before, but it's good to see you. Uh, Tim, what's up, buddy? So if you're just joining us, we're talking about Jeff Walker's launch masterclass, the takeaways here. And in about 10 minutes, we're going to have literally one of my favorite people on earth joining us. We've got uh, Mary Lynch Barbera, who's going to be doing, it's actually, it'll be at 2.20. Um, sorry, I, for some reason, I thought she was coming on at 2, Mark, uh, but she's coming on at 2.20. So good, that gives us more time to share these takeaways. Then we'll have Mary Barbera joining us. We'll have Stacy Piercy joining us, Timby Baker joining us, Eric Solbakken, my favorite Norwegian. Uh, you know, he's not Norwegian, he's from the U.S., but he has a Norwegian name. And then Jenna Linsky is going to be joining us at 320. So really excited about these guests today, guys. Um, our second big takeaway was about bonuses. Bonuses. Um, I just wanted to pull up my notes here on the bonuses. So we got the fast action bonus, uh, which what they did with that is they had like a nice, again, a fast action bonus, right? Nothing moves people like a deadline. Well, nothing moves people kind of secondly. Um like a bonus, like introducing a bonus. They had a really cool bonus for PLF. The tsunami email, this is what Jeff calls it. And I love this email because this is, um, I always call this the, you know, like the OMG everything worked email, but I think tsunami is a lot faster to say and, and kind of a cooler name. 
Um, this is the email you send out after a few hours and you basically just say, wow, like the response has been amazing. Thankfully, the servers withstood the pressure uh, because the reality is sometimes in a launch, servers do crash. Um, I mean, just these bonuses. We just talked about yeah. the, we talked about, yeah, talked about the mid-cart bonus. They have a, a bonus if you pay in full. So it's a special bonus if you pay in full. That's something you should be implementing in your launches. Why would you do that? I, listen, I love... Um, I love payment plans. I I've used them in the past, you know, like I, I love the ability to, to pay, you know, say $400, you know, six times rather than $2,000 up front. Uh, when we invested in PLF personally, we paid the $2,000 up front because that's the position we were in, in our, in our lives and in our business. We were able to, and we were able to save that money. I love payment plans as a, as a business owner. I also love getting the money up front. You know, because the reality is we only we only capture, I think, 78 percent of the payment plan plans. And uh, what's the old what's that old saying? Like a bird in hand is better than two in the bush or something. Two in the bush. Yeah. There you go. You got uh, it. A bird in <laughs> hand is willing. Then the teacher will appear. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not Matt and all is saying. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, that's a, what? Man, I think if you I think if you mix up two, if you mix up two sayings, you have to use a George Bush, a George mix, W. Bush four. voice. Yeah. Oh. You have to use a George W. Bush first. Man who, voice. Man who chases two birds in hand <laughs> captures a bush. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? You, okay, name the meta what metaphors did I just mix up there? What pro, like proverbs? Man who chases two birds. <laughs> bird in hand is better than we don't even know we're getting a tsunami of words from matt right now <laughs> tsunami <laughs> oh my gosh none of which makes where, sense. where i was going with that anyway yeah so you know the bonus that does the full pay bonus the uh, that bonuses <laughs> lock, them, lock them bonuses Anyway, um, what else we have? We had like bonuses that address specific challenges. So if you struggle with list building, he's got a bonus. If you struggle with, you know, kind of writing copy, we've got swipe files. We do this in our launches. Like we have those specific bonuses that address specific uh, objections. These are objection crushing bonuses and, and we love those. So is any thoughts on that? Like as far as with, with the bonuses where... Can I well, well I, you know, Matt, one of the things I was just, one of the things <laughs> I was going to say is, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about what we always teach people as far as moving people down the path, you know, yeah. getting people from a one to a 10, because I think that's really why I don't think Jeff phrases it this way, but that's why you have these bonuses. It's, it's because, you know, people start at a certain level. Some people first day, they're just going to buy, like they're just happy yep. to buy but some people aren't They're and really every single email you send, every single bonus you share, you get them a little bit closer. You know, it's a progression to where somebody says, okay, now I'm willing to invest. Yeah. And you know, the thing is it applies to affiliate marketing as well. So when you have a mid cart bonus, a fast action bonus, a case, you know, case studies, a bonus about seed launches, a bonus about list building, a bonus about, you know, whatever. It also, it's an ETM an excuse to mail for your partners. And so what Mark was talking about there, and Chris, I see your question. We'll answer that in a moment. Um, what Mark was talking about is we always talked about moving people from a from a zero to a 10 continuum. So they woke up this morning. Let's just say that, you know, your launch was starting today. They woke up at somewhere between a zero and a five. Like they may be experiencing the exact pain that you're going to address. And well, those are the people who buy on day one. But they wake up today and then they opt in. So just by the act of giving their email address and downloading your free report or watching, you know, your video series or attending your webinar, they've already moved to somewhere between a two and a five. You know, if they were already at a five, maybe they already moved to a six or a seven. They're in your ecosystem. They're getting to know you. And then every email you send, every communication it moves the ball down the field, you know, to use a football analogy, it's the, it's the four yard draw play right up the middle. I don't know if you guys like, you know, follow football, but technically if you run four straight plays that gain 2.51 yards, that's a first down, you know, it's, it's not the 50 yard bomb down the field that wins games. If you can gain 2.5, 
you know, one yards every play, you will never lose a football game. It would be impossible. Eventually, your defense will make a stop. And, and so these emails, even if they're not necessarily making a bunch of sales, they're moving the ball down the field. And so you get somebody at a five on open cart day. And then that mid cart, you know, bonus, even though they may not buy, it still got them thinking. So they visited the sales page and they now they're talking to their spouse the next day. Now, and this is kind of, I, I hope guys, this doesn't, it's, it's, this isn't sadistic. It, it's really not when I say this. But I want people to lose just a little bit of sleep thinking about purchasing a product. Here's the reason why. I want them to be so excited about the prospect and so um, so in a position so hurt by a pain, you know, the pain that they're experiencing because that's how people change, that they do lose a little bit of sleep. And then they wake up and they make, you know, a buying decision, of course. And so I want people going the night before, you know, it's just like I was when I purchased product launch formula, when I purchased PLF, I lost sleep the night before because it was a $2,000 investment. And I, and I was up the night before going, you know, we, we don't really have, we have the money, but it's a lot of money. And is this going to make the difference? But I remember just thinking, if I don't purchase this now, I'm going to be right back in this situation in six months, a year, two years, not making the forward progress. And so sure enough, the next day we, we purchased product launch formula and, and it's been one of the best decisions we've ever made. Uh, I mean, it's like getting married to Tara and then way down is PLF. Don't get me wrong, but it's up there in the list of like <laughs> greatest decisions I've made in my life. <laughs> I'll jump in on that for a second here. You know, when you, you look at the objection crushing bonuses, I think that that's, um, you know, if you're on the fence, if you're at a seven or an eight and, you know, you're like, I don't have a list. I don't, I barely have a web page. Um, you know, do I have physical products? Do I have, will this work in my niche kind of stuff? When you've got those questions and then those bonuses come in um, and you're like, oh, hey, that bonus is, is worth it almost in and of itself. And now I get the program too. That, that to me, um, as somebody who has often found myself on, the, um, wanting to purchase these types of things to, to invest in myself like that. But, you know, like that's a major decision. Um, it's, it's a, a change where you're like, okay, that's just enough to get me in. Yep. So to answer, I mean, you just sort of touched on it, uh, Robbie, to answer Chris's question, you know, is this for physical products or digital products? You know, does it apply to brick and mortar businesses? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I mean, go into I, that a little more. Made, detail. I mean, there were 45, <laughs> case studies, more, man. There were 45 case studies published yesterday. Uh, today we'll have, you know, four, four people on, we're going to share their stories and we're talking coaches, digital courses, physical products, softwares as services, membership sites, um, books. I mean, what, what am I missing? I mean, I, I literally have named like just about everything. Um, yeah. And it, I, it doesn't have to be internet marketing either. No. Right. I, I that's, want- that's what I love about Jeff's case studies is, you know, so many people think about, oh, if only I had a website that taught internet marketers how to do internet marketing. Like this is so much bigger than that. The one, the one that blew me away was uh, I can't remember the guy who what the guy's name was, but the guy that was a farmer and a rancher. Yeah. <laughs> because my my dad, my family farms and ranches, and I never would have been like, oh, they should use PLF. And then I listen to this guy, and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> They need to use PLF, you know, it's like, whoa, that's awesome. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's and I, I think the thing, the key is and we, we touched on this in the third recap, which you can find at what is it? MacMcWilliams.com forward slash PLF recap three. I think we talked mm-hmm. about it or maybe yeah. we, we maybe we didn't get to it, um, but it's sometimes it's more telling the story, you know, so for, for a brick and, brick and mortar business, it might be sometimes you're telling your story. You're telling the story of what this company means, you know, why it's important, you know, what it does for the community, those types of things that pe- people, you know, Matt, we were just talking about this on our start call, you know, people want to get to know you, you know, some of my favorite things that I hear about businesses is when I hear about where they started from, 
you know, and, yeah. and what, what their, what their mission is, because a lot of times you don't really know what a mission of a company is when they share that. And they tell you, I mean, if you think about it, those are the ads that people are like, Oh my gosh, I love that ad. You know, I mean, it's not the ads. I mean, I don't drink, but the Budweiser commercials that I really liked are the ones that had a mission do. behind them. Yeah. The, yeah. Remember, remember the nine 11 one, they 9/11 did, one right after nine 11. Yeah. Amazing. Nothing to do with, with what they were selling but it told a story and that's what PLF does. It allows you to tell a story, to sell whatever it is you're selling, whether it's, whether it's your service or a physical, physical product or a, a product that's not physical, um, which would make it digital probably, or I guess maybe like invisible, I'm not sure. But you can use it for any of them by telling a story, you know, by telling mm-hmm. the mission, by, by getting, getting people behind the scenes of what you're doing. And that's, that is, that's, I agree, Robbie. That's one of the things that I think is really cool about just case studies is it, it opens your eyes to what is possible using this framework. And it, it's, it's universal principles that everybody uses. You just put it into a formula that works really well. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is, it's universal. I mean, he, he uses the example, the movie industry has been using a f- version of PLF mm-hmm. for how long have movies been out? You know, I mean, it, it, it's, I mean, it's, it's so interesting. If you look, you see it everywhere. You see it when Apple announces products, you see mm-hmm. it when, um, when Nike announces a new shoe, you know, you see it I mean, all over the place. And so it's, it's physical products, digital pro- masterminds. I mean, so we're at seven different things. I think I've said that it could be used for, um, I mean, then right down to, you know, we've used it in kind of a combination world. Uh, Chris, we've even used it in, in the world of, um, you know, with an old company I worked for, we basically did PLF without knowing it. Um, we, we taught, we taught people how to play guitar, but it was a physical, a physical box of DVDs and lesson books that came to you. So it's a physical product that now, you know, could be an online course. I mean, yeah, every, every conceivable thing it could be. Um, I mean, literally I've got a friend of mine that's using PLF this fall. Uh, and he, he does, uh, what, what's the industry called? Nutraceuticals. I think it's the, the term he's in the nutraceutical industry. And so physical product, you know, and he's using, using PLF and I don't know the percentages. I would say that more than 50% of the people are using PLF to launch something that is virtual, whether it be a digital course or a coaching program, a service, a mastermind, a membership site, they're using it. But I would, I would venture to say at least a third of the people are using it to launch something in the, in the physical products space. So guys, if you're just joining us, we're talking about Jeff Walker's launch masterclass, the takeaways that we're getting from that. We're 15 minutes from our first special guest. You guys are going to love, uh, just absolutely love Mary. I mean, she's She's awesome. I, I mean, it sounds so cliche, I should have worn my world changer shirt today. She is literally changing the world, helping, you know, the parents of, of autistic children um, in so, amazing, amazing ways. Yeah. So before, before Mary gets on, I have to tell you this because. Before she gets she on, on, you don't want her to hear this, right? Well, it, it's kind of, I don't, I think she would, she would appreciate it, but she might feel a little bit, um, I don't know, humbled about it too. I, I have a friend who, when we first met Mary Matt a couple of years ago, my friend has an autistic daughter and loves mary loves like is like over the moon like she is a star to to, or mary's a star to this friend of mine and i took a picture with mary when i met her the first time and sent it to my friend and she's like oh my gosh i am so jealous like so i texted i texted her today i was like hey we're gonna be interviewing mary you should come we're gonna be talking about business and stuff but i know you like mary and she's like yeah i would have been so mad at you if you hadn't told me so (laughs) trina will probably be on at some point and That's she's excited awesome. because, because, and, and I tell you that, I say that guys, because if you, if you know somebody that has an autistic child, they probably know who Mary is and they probably do because in, in that industry, in that niche, she is a big, big deal. She, and she is really good at what she does. And, and a lot of it, and, and she'll share this, you know, a lot of it is because of the things that she's learned from Jeff, that she's been able to reach and impact the people that she's been able to reach. And that goes back to what we were talking about. You know, that's the cool thing about what Jeff does. Like, He's helping Mary help parents of autistic children. Uh, Unbelievable. Do you, do you remember I, at, at PLF Live this year when Mary stood up and talked about how many people she's helped 
Yeah. And Jeff just, I mean, Jeff was blown away. And I mean, you could tell it was like, it hit Jeff because he was like, Oh my goodness. Like, you know, I was, I'm, I was just a, a stay at home dad trying to make enough money to like help my family survive. And I've helped, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of people in, in you know, uh, in a very difficult situation, you know, mm-hmm. kids are, are thriving. You know, many of Mary's stories involve autistic children who, when they, when they're a little bit older, you would never know, like they are yeah. living completely normal lives and, and their families are thriving. And he was just like, wow. Like I never thought that I would, I would be able to do that, which is just like, that's the coolest thing. It's, it's just like when our students, yeah. Mark, when I'm like, you know, we, we give them this seed and then they, they're the ones that, that germinate it, so to speak. They're the ones that water it. And like, I'll, I, I'll give somebody an idea and they'll come to me and be like, all right, Giovanni. Um, Giovanni says hi, everybody. Um, I think by, and by saying hi, I mean he's saying no. I don't <laughs> ever take a nap. Ah! Um, anyway, um, yeah, I mean it, it's just yeah, it's just so cool. Like our students will come to us and say they'll do something. And I'm just like, wow. Like you, you mean you got that from what I said? Like that. That's the coolest thing. Um, so my third takeaway, and we'll get as many of these takeaways in as we can. Uh, my third takeaway, guys, was how uh, Jeff Jeff just does this so well. Um, he future paces when he's selling. When he's selling, he future paces. And and what I mean by that is he you know he he just goes ahead and talks about like instead of saying I'm I'm excited about the idea of helping you or I look forward to possibly helping you if you join us. He he talks about, like gets people thinking of themselves as already having enrolled in PLF. And I just, I mean, to me, that is, that is so stinking powerful mm-hmm. how he does that. And, um, you yeah, know, I just, I, I love that. I love the future pacing, you know, it just gets people picturing I'm already in PLF. And so the next step of course, is to, you know, just click a button. Get in PLF. Yep. You know, and I think to me, that's an amazingly effective sales technique, but mm-hmm. even more than that, it's Jeff helping people see the is being successful. It's him helping them believe. You know, one of the Did Mark go robot voice on just me? I think he's roboting right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then he left. Whatever oh, no. Mark was saying was extremely, extremely profound. Uh hey Michael. Uh, Michael Ray. Uh, so anyway, we were talking about how Jeff was future pacing in his pitch, and uh, and then Mark, you know, decided to say some stuff like a robot, and then leave. <laughs> well, what I, what I was gonna say is, where did you lose me? What did I say last? Just right at the beginning. Right at the beginning. Okay, so start <laughs> over. All right. I just like looked we, we up. Lost and what I liked over. about that was. <laughs> okay, what I liked about that is, you know, not only is it an amazingly effective sales technique, but more than that, it gets Jeff gets people seeing themselves as being successful. Yeah. And, you know, we talk and, and Jeff talks about this, you know, one of the things, you know, when you're when you're selling something is your belief has to overcome the other person's unbelief or their challenge. And that's what he's doing. He's he's helping people see themselves as, yeah, I could do this. Like, yeah, I, I can see myself as a PLF owner. And I think anything you're selling, whether it's a uh, a, a a purchasable product or even an idea you have to do that you have to get people seeing themselves as buying into that idea you have to see them as as, as identifying with it and once they do that you know we we learn you know robert cialdini talks about this all the time once people see themselves as connecting with something they don't want to change that opinion they don't want to act incongruent with that so it's a great sales technique but i think even more than that it sets people up from day one of being a plf owner as seeing themselves being successful, as seeing themselves launching, as seeing themselves making a difference in whatever industry or niche that they're in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so powerful. And I mean, kind of leads into our last, um, our last takeaway that uh, I know for me going through this and, and seeing this, every year when I see Jeff use what he teaches, like it's so meta. He's using PLF to run the launch for PLF. And he even says, I think that's his exact words. It's like, this is so meta. That's the greatest thing ever. How to open your cart <laughs> while I'm opening the cart. 
And so every year, th this is a, this is so interesting. And I heard this from our students like this year in our launches. Um, they said, you know, they're like, wow, you know, I bought two years ago. I bought last year, but I have more belief in it even now, you know? And so what we did was I made the mistake. I purchased not the buying PLF. That was not the mistake. I purchased PLF and then promptly did nothing with it for like eight months, nine months. And then finally I said, you know, what? I'm never going to do this. If I just, you know, want to do it on my own, I'm never going to do this if I don't set some structure and some deadlines around it. So I, I did exactly what we teach. We went through it as a team. I think we did Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 PM Mark, you know, mm -hmm. uh, at that time Robbie was on the team. It was me and T Tara and, and Mark. And we, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 3 p.m., I think we missed like two sessions in the course of like 14 weeks. You know, we, we had stuff come up. And by gosh, we got there at 3, and we watched the lesson, and we shared our thoughts, and we took notes. I wish I had, I wish I had my notes. I think I know where they're at, but, oh. Um, <laughs> like, it's sitting right there. I brought it, I forgot, I forgot that I was smart enough. I put this here on Tuesday. No joke. I put this here on Tuesday. It, like, so in case I needed to mention my notes from PLF, this thing is <laughs> almost completely full from of notes from PLF. And then I forgot that I put it there. And I'm like, wait, is it oh, oh, wait, <laughs> under my phone? <laughs> anyway, I'm smarter than I give myself credit for sometimes. And so we, like, it, like so we went through it, right? And so every year, my belief in PLF, every time Jeff launches this, and just a reminder, he only launches it once a year. Like once a year, like, once he it, like if you live to be 80 which is the average life expectancy now and you're currently 40 you're only going to experience like a handful of these launches right it, it, it doesn't happen but once a year and every year he does this launch and i see him do it my belief in what he teaches just goes up another notch and another notch and another notch and so i know we're going to go through it i'll share some more about that in just a moment before our first guest comes on we're going to go through it as a team again very soon yeah um, and I'm excited about that. So I want to give you a link. This is a link to learn more about PLF and enroll. You have between now, you've got like 36 hours, 36 hours and change to get in. It's mattmcwilliams.com forward slash get PLF. Okay. We believe in this so much that we're offering like some insane bonuses. I'm going to share these with you before Mary comes on. Uh, I mean, just like crazy. Right. And I, and I, one of these I'll share in a moment, we just added because I'm, I was so excited and I know we're going to go through it as a team that I was so excited. And I want to get you guys in and give you an incentive to join. So first we've got our destroy your limiting beliefs, self-coaching guide. So I know for me, uh, belief is everything. And you go into a, a process like PLF and maybe there's some doubts, maybe there's some beliefs that are holding you back. This self-coaching guide will walk you through how to crush those beliefs. You get our list launch challenge worth $497. Um, I mean, we'll literally show you how to start, grow, and build your email list in as little as a week with the list launch challenge. Some people, they take a couple of weeks, but we'll show you there. You get our networking with purpose bonus so you can learn how to connect with the right people. You get our seven-figure affiliate launch course. This is our premium training, right? This is our premium seven-figure affiliate launch course that we normally sell for $1,997. You will learn how to take PLF and then layer on top of it your, your JV partners, your affiliate partners. You get our affiliate recruiting swipe files. Now, we don't sell the majority of these anywhere, so they're priceless, I guess. I don't know what I don't know, like, value I would put on these. These are like the swipe files that took me sometimes eight years, 10 years, a few of them because it was it was hard. It took me even more than 10 years to figure out what emails worked best to recruit affiliates. Um, these are my swipe files. Like if, if I'm going to go out and recruit affiliates for a client tomorrow, these are the swipe files I'm going to use. I'm going to reference my own swipe files to figure out the best email. You get our affiliate promo prep checklist that is worth $432. But we normally sell that one for you. Get that. Like it'll work, walk you through how to work with your, your affiliates. And then our brand new bonus that we are announcing today that I, I texted the team or I think I slacked you guys. And I asked you to push back on this because I was like, wait a minute, do we really want to do this? This is like a massive commitment of time when we quite frankly don't really have the time. But that's how important it is to me to get you guys into PLF. 
and experience the transformation that we've experienced. We're going to go through PLF with you. We're literally going to do exactly what we teach. We're going to go through it with you. So there's nine core modules in PLF every other week. That way you've got time to go through. The, this is based on about how long it took us to go through each of the modules. Um, some of the modules move a little bit faster, but every other week for the nine core modules, we're going to meet, we're going to take your questions. We're going to kind of share our takeaways, how to apply that, you know, to what we teach, what we're learning, what we're doing with that. And uh, we're actually going to go through the program with you. And so total value, I don't even know what the total value of these is. Uh, in part because I can't do math live. And also um, it's not on my screen. So yeah. it's like $5,000 and change, right? So three times the value of, of PLF in and of itself. I'm just telling you guys, it's super transformation. You're going to hear some stories from Mary starting here in a second and, and Timby and the others. Um, yeah, Mark's typing. Mark or Robbie is typing the number $5,324 bonus package. So guys, go get that at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash get PLF. And with that, let's bring on Mary. I know she's in the lobby. Let's bring her on she's and ready. share her story. All right. Here she comes. Hey, guys. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. hey how are you? Doing awesome. So we don't have like an official intro for you. Um, so I'm just going to say, guys, Mary Marbera, we've already told you about like how awesome she is. Uh, Mary, we shared earlier, um, shared the story of, of, of PLF Live this past year when when you told Jeff, like the number of people that you've helped and you could see it in his face, like he was just like the process that he was going through, like, holy crap, I like I mean to say that like this thing that I teach, this internet marketing thing has helped that many like families with autistic children. And it was like, you could see the wheels turning, like he was just like, mind blown. It was, it was so cool. Uh, but guys, I mean, just seriously, like Mary is just a complete and total rock star and she's taken this, this PLF structure and done some pretty amazing things with it. So Mark, uh, Robbie, I'm going to let you guys kind of run the interview. Oh yeah. By the way, surprise, you're running the interview um, <laughs> in part because I got to rest my voice because we've got like so much going on today um, and my throat's hurting. But with that, um, I, I just like, first of all, thank you. And then, um, but tell us kind of who you are and, um, and, and who you help. Cause I think, I think what you're doing is just the, the, some of the most amazing stuff I'm seeing. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me. Um, so I'm Mary Barbera and I fell into the autism world first in 1999. So two decades ago when my firstborn son, Lucas was diagnosed with autism at the time, I had a master's degree in nursing. I'm married to a physician. Um, Lucas was showing signs of autism for like over 15, 18 months by that point, 15 months. Um, I was in denial about autism. So I, I got it out of the denial, started helping my son through behavioral um, programming, and then eventually became a board certified behavior analyst. I wrote a book, uh, The Verbal Behavior Approach. It's in like 13 languages. I've traveled around the world speaking about autism, helping both professionals in the field as well as parents of toddlers through teens. And, um, and then I, I earned a PhD in 2011. And from that point on, it was really the rise of online programs. And I, I was just like, I have to figure out how to get my strategies online out to the world because the travel was exhausting. I was like, needed to be home. I have another son, Spencer, who was 18 months younger. So between Lucas's needs and Spencer's, you know, he, I missed a couple proms he went to because I was presenting at autism conferences. And I was just like, I don't even like to travel that much. It's like, I just want to get the word out, you know? So it's just really trying uh, to buy online courses and to try to figure it out. So I came across, um, well, I became a PLF owner in um, 2016 in the fall. So this will be three years since I'm a PLF owner. And by that point I had figured out some stuff. 
Um, I figured out how to do an online course, which I had no idea what I was doing. So that was a feat upon <laughs> itself. And then I created an accidental membership because I didn't know what I was doing. So I didn't want to give lifetime access. So I like, okay, you can only stay for this long. And then I'm like, okay, now pay me. And they started paying me. <laughs> um, so, so I really, when I became a PLF owner, I, I was kind of cocky, like, oh, I, I figured out a lot, you know, I, I'm, you know, and so I, I thought like, I don't need another online course. Um, so, but what I real what I realized at that point when I when I became an owner is I really was just scratching the surface and I was looking for like tricks and tips like people come to me looking for tricks and tips and it's like a whole different ball game than just tricks and tips like yeah. you know people would go in the autism world oh well how do you do that how do you, you know it's like like you have no idea this is it requires immersion it requires a system it requires um grit and determination but going it alone you know i i swear it was like i launched maybe four times three or four times by the time i became a plf owner and it's like they were i mean they did i did well i got like twenty thousand dollars a launch but i was kind of stuck there and i kept like just getting twenty thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars um and i and i am Finally, to the point where I've really, um, uh, I know my numbers now. I've run a success, two successful evergreen campaigns all year. I'm selling every day. Um, I wake up to sales. And because my program isn't the That's kind it. of pro <laughs> program that you could just, you know, open twice a year and have all this scarcity. It's like, this is life or death information. So, um, <laughs> Yeah. And people need it all. I have participants in my in my online course, my paid online courses from 65 different countries. I sell every day, which is awesome. You know, when you wake up and you're like, oh, man, this is, you know, great. So uh, I've just learned a ton over the past three years um, from Jeff. And, you know, I, it's been it's been a great, great thing. Yeah. To your point there real yep. quick about the evergreen versus. Um you know, deadline. I use you as the example of someone who should be evergreen when, cause I get asked that question probably once a day. Mm -hmm. Like, do I, do I do evergreen? Is it always available or do I, do I shut it down? And I'm like, well, if you're in an industry where, you know, it doesn't matter per se. And, you know, like Jeff with PLF, it closes tomorrow guys at midnight. So Jeff can focus on the new students for a full year. And then, you know, and, and in his case, um, it makes sense. But in your case, you know, I mean, there are autistic children being born every single minute, you know, and those parents aren't going to just be like, oh, okay, well, her, her registration doesn't open up for nine months. I guess I'll just, you know, struggle with this until then. No, that's not an option. And it's like, you know, no. if you're in the, if you teach people how to, you know, like how to overcome diabetes, like that's like you said, it's life or death. And uh, so in your case, it makes, it makes total sense. So I just wanted you to know, I use you as like the example yeah. of somebody that does that effectively using the PLF framework, but on an evergreen basis. And you also have to realize that you can't just put it on your website as evergreen because then there's no scarcity. People mm -hmm. won't buy anyway. Um, I've also had, had some success lately because my pain, the pain points are so high is actually doing a webinar first and putting the PLF as the second or third launch if they don't buy. And we just looked at our numbers the other day and and a third of our sales are actually coming from uh you know the follow-up, the two follow-up sales sales sequences. Um so you know there's a there's a lot of different ways to to use PLF and whether you use the four part video series, all of my courses were developed with seed launches, you know I'm starting to dip my toe into the JV world. Like it doesn't have to be like you join PLF and you do this and, and it's lockstep. It's like evergreen and you know, what, when and how to use webinars and when and how to, uh, you know, change your avatars bucket. Like I also don't have just one program. I have two programs, one for toddlers, one for parents and professionals of older kids. So it makes it really complicated 
And it's not like I have it all figured out even after three years being with Jeff. The other thing that, and I've been watching some of the live launch too. And, and I mean, Jeff is just, people say like, is he that nice? Yes. Yeah. He, he is so authentic and so like he does get pure joy out of hearing like the, the people that I've helped. Like he, he tears up. I mean, he gets goosebumps. Like I've seen him. Um, and so it really does matter. It's not just about the sale to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was that as surprising to you as it was to me when you first experienced that about him? I didn't really have any experience with online marketers when I first, <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, when I first met him and saw him on stage, you know, I mean, he seemed nice enough, but I have experience, you know, now watching other people and, and he's just like, I feel like I, I would trust him. I would send people to him. He's not a, he's not a slimy, sleazy, you know, in it for the sales. He's really in it for impact and his purpose. And it's just, it, you know, I'm happy to be in his world. Yeah. And I've met I guys, cool through, you know, through him. Yeah. And it's just like I mean, the, I think the people that surround him are also, you know, nice and optimistic and, you know, giving great advice. I think Mary, one of the things that, that I think is really cool is the fact that, you know, this on, on all aspects, you know, it, it's a win-win, you know, for, for you joining PLF, it was a win-win. It's a win for Jeff. It's a win for you. It's a win for the people that you help. You know, I, I mean, I know you've kind of hit on it a little bit, but I mean, what would, what would you have had to have done without using the PLF framework to reach the people that you reach now? I mean, what would that have looked like as far as a lifestyle for you? I mean, up until that point, I was mostly going, you know, door to door, um, helping one child at a time. And I'm in my 50s. So it's like, I got to get on this. This is my life's yeah. work. And it's like a lot's in my head and all my videos. And it's like, um, and then traveling, you know, and, and when I travel, I don't do a lot of traveling anymore to, to speak on autism because it's, it's just so much more efficient to do it online. But, you know, when I would travel, I would go to Australia in economy and then I get there and there'd be, you know, it's, Oh, we have a sold out crowd of 300. Great. You know, and then you're speaking for 50 minutes. It's like, Oh my God, like you just paid me my daily speaking rate, all my expenses. I just, you know, got my sister to come. Now we planned all this in Sydney afterwards. It's like, all this stuff and then people are flying in to see the conference i'm you know the keynote um and just a lot of expense um and a lot of time and money and then you know people go home and then they're like oh gosh johnny's on the floor johnny wasn't on the floor in mary's video you know i don't know what to do and so there's no way to follow up with me i mean yeah people can email me but like at this point that's just not efficient like i feel like I need to be as efficient as possible to affect, I mean, now the rate of autism is thought to be like one in 50. Wow. Um, you know, wow. it's a lot of, a lot of kids, a lot of people in need. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, as a father of an autistic child, just how exponential your reach is, um, with PLF. Cause you said you, you had these courses and everything already. And as you're seeing autism rates rise, you're able to, um, you know, reach out to people who maybe would have never heard of you or been able to get your help. That just, to me, just is mind blowing. I love it. Yeah. You have an autistic child. Yeah. I, I did not know that. <laughs> Mark, did you, am I, like, am I the only one? I did not know. Oh, no. He's uh, 13. Man. Yeah. So, so my son a, now with autism is 23 and, mm -hmm. um, and then my other son is 21. So, um, yeah. So, so my goal to answer your question, Mark, just to kind of sum it up is like going door to door one-to-one, -one, it was not going to work. And, you know, uh, 
traveling the world it was not I was not making me happy either like I want to devote my life to this but I also don't want to like miss prom or miss you know yeah. both my in-laws died like right before a trip right after a trip I don't want to be stressed that somebody important to me is going to need me and um it's just so much more efficient. I can reach so many more people every day. I'm growing my list now. When I started as a PLF owner, I had a list of 8,000. And that was after 10, after 10 years of building that list. Eight years, something like that. It took me eight years to grow it to 8,000. And then now it's over 65,000. And now I'm really... Uh, cranking it up and uh, I'm growing by like a thousand a week. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, Mary, I, I don't know if you're watching the live stream, but there, there's a comment that came in from Trina, who's actually a friend of mine. Um, and she said that her daughter has autism and she's learned a ton from you. So um, that's really cool. And I'm sure she wants to say thank you. So, yeah. Well, anybody um, that's listening that has, you know, a child or somebody they're worried about that they think it might be autism if they're little, or they have autism, you can just go to marybarbera.com or just Google Mary plus autism. I'll pop right up. And sure. I do free video blogs. I do um, weekly podcasts now. I launched a podcast this year. Um, took another course to learn how to actually do the podcast, but used you know the PLF structure and everything I learned from Jeff to actually launch it. Um, and so, it, you know, the sky's the limit. And we'll see where it all goes. Well, guys, I want to encourage you, in addition to going to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash get PLF to get PLF uh, and join people like Mary and the you know, tens of thousands of PLF owners out there uh, to get the $5,324 in bonuses that we're offering, including going through PLF with you over the next 18 weeks. Um, go to Mary's website. There's... Uh, it's, it's interesting, Robbie. I was, I was going, I, I kid you not, when I kind of planned that I was going to do this at the end of Mary's segment uh, <laughs> to encourage people to go to Mary's website, I was going to say, if you have autistic children or know anyone, and at this point, I think we've reached the point where most people know someone who has an autistic child. And I was going to say, mm -hmm. except for me, I honestly don't know anyone. <laughs> And then <laughs> four minutes well, you know me. with an autistic Bombshell. <laughs> You know Mary. Yeah, that's you a know good point. Me. You know Mary, Matt. Well, that's yeah, true. Okay, true. You know. <laughs> Jeez, Matt. And, well, now you I'm have not sure Mary's Mary. website with her is what I was saying. Like, hey, Mary, I'm going to text Mary after this. Like, hey, have you checked out marybarbera.com? <laughs> <laughs> you like I, that. I get it. I get it. She seems <laughs> smart. But like, you yeah. know, it's, so anyway. Guys, check her out. Seriously, if you know anyone, share her website. Um, yeah. You know, I, I mean, it's it works. What she's doing works. And and the thing is, like, you know, I just want to share this one last takeaway that I got from you, Mary. This was cool. Um, you know, you had the pain, you had the experience, you had the need, and then you passed that on. But you mentioned the word system, that you developed the system. And I know, here's what I hear from people all the time. I don't have a system. I just kind of tried to figure it out, and eventually I did what you did was created a system for the record. And, and for most people, I wrote down that this looks something like A, you go from step A to step D to step B to step Q to step C. And then eventually you hit the reset button and you go A, B, C, D, E, F. And then you go to step M. And here's what happens. At some point, you develop a system, people. You develop a system. You just didn't really call it that. Share that system. And then get PLF and sell that system. That's really what it amounts to from a marketing standpoint, it's not all that complicated. And um, I just, I'm so inspired by what you're doing, Mary. So guys, seriously, check her out, share it with your friends. Uh, you know, if, if you have an autistic child, get with your spouse tonight, whatever it is, and, and like devour her stuff. And then, um, and this should be a left launch. <laughs> <laughs> and then get her yeah. stuff, okay? Get her stuff. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to you guys. And yeah, I would encourage people to definitely, um, you know, when I was sitting there debating whether to join or not, and I was like, I mean, it, you only have one life, right? And if I, if I can, you know, take a few less trips and st well, I stopped seeing clients altogether now. So I am just totally focused on, on my online business. Um, 
but you know, like you only have one life and it's like, if you put it off, put it off. It's like, you know, those are, those are people that need you. And it may not be as, you know, life altering as autism information, which could really, you know, completely alter people's lives, but it can definitely change people's, you know, if you have something that you sell, that's, that's a, a great hobby or teach piano or, you know, anything to make people happier, to have them live more and enrich lives. Um, it's definitely a way to get it out there. And, and it's not just the four part video series that the, you don't have to even do videos. I did my first launch with just emails, you know, yep. you can use webinars on the front end. You can use webinars on the back end. You can bucket, you could, you know, there's a zillion different things. You can go all evergreen or, combine it with live launches. That's what we're trying to figure out now. But there's always a way to um, to use his framework. And like Jeff is, and you guys and everybody have met through Jeff's world has been just super supportive. And so I would just encourage you, like if you're on the fence, just do it. I mean, there is a 30 day money back guarantee, I think, you know, nothing, uh, you know, there's, there's just no reason not to not to give it a try, especially if you've watched the videos. You're already 12 hours in, and now you're a couple hours here. It's like, just do it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jeff may not be the teacher for you. I think awesome. he is. He was certainly the teacher for us and, oh, I don't know, like 14,000 other people. <laughs> Um, that if, you know, that are PLF owners, um, and, and he, and his style works for me, that's for sure. But right. it's possible that maybe his style isn't for you. And, uh, and if not, Mark just left again for no reason. Mark was having internet <laughs> issues. I think, um, <laughs> Mark, <laughs> um, anyway, he's like, did I leave? Anyway, um, you know, if Jeff's not for you, you always have that, that money back guarantee. So like Mary said, well, Mary, thank you so much. Um, Thanks so much. Sharing your story and, and all that you're doing. Um, I don't know. I, it's fun for me to sit on the sidelines and just witness what you're doing. Cool. All yeah. right. You guys take care. Good luck to everybody out there. See you, Mary. All right. Thanks bye. So much. Well, Mark, let's bring on Stacy Piercy real quick, who is a brand new PLF owner. When she gets on, let's just go nuts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> can you hear me, Robbie? Yes, you can. Yeah, Mark, I hear you. Mark just texted me and said, I can't hear Matt. So that's okay. on. Uh, why am I, why am I trying to tell him stuff? <laughs> Mark, can you tell, or Robbie, can you tell him, um, that that's on his end? And also, can you bring on Stacy, Mark, if you can hear me, we're going to type to each other in the back end of be live. So good stuff. <laughs> Mark's going to have to like reboot. <laughs> <laughs> He's completely oblivious to what's happening. <laughs> we can say anything we want about Mark right now. Uh, uh -oh. yeah. Might have any questions for Mark that I can ask? And nope, just left again. Oh. Uh. <laughs> this is the power of live video. Live video. So here's what you, we, we've got Stacy coming on a minute in just a moment. Uh, Stacy Piercy. And uh, I have no audio now. That's good. So, um, <laughs> oh, let's text Mark. Yeah, I'm, I'm texting. Okay. Um, let's see. What is he saying, Robbie? This is in good. Text me and tell me who to add on. Stacy, we've told you like three times. <laughs> hey, Stacy. <laughs> All right, so hey, you there, know, having, Mark's having weird issues where he can like not hear people and then he just disappears. So okay. can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, Mark's the only one having issues today. Nobody else is just him. <laughs> Mark emailed me to tell me about this session and called me Tammy. So I think it's just sort of all his whole day is just <laughs> going wrong. <laughs> oh, my word. Well, that's probably because he was on our start mastermind with the lady named Tammy. And, and so Timby, I know you're watching. We're going to bring on Timby in just a few minutes. But uh, Stacy, I really, I have just one question for you and we'll see where it goes from there. Okay. Because uh, you just became a PLF owner this week. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. You you enrolled before we even offered the bonus. 
that I don't even know about. Yeah. I don't know. Do you even know? I don't, about the bonus? I don't know about the bonus. Oh, you've got to tell her about the bonus. <laughs> just announced this 25 minutes ago or so. Um, for the nine core modules of PLF, and there's some amazing bonuses as well. One of them Mary kind of touched on was there's actually a bonus in there about how to create your product. You know, the product oh. creation. Like I can see it. I've already logged into PLF and I, the, he's got bonuses like launch your list and stuff like that. Yeah, so this yeah. is something different. Yeah. It's in there somewhere. Don't ask. It's oh. in there. Yeah. Dude, there's so many. Somewhere. There's so much stuff in there. <laughs> well, we just added a bonus. What we're going to do for the nine core modules. So every other week, we're going to go through the course with you. Oh, so great. That means is you'll go through the course. We'll tell you what lessons to watch and oh, it's you know, module one. We'll start there. At okay. the end of that, before you start the next module, we're going to just do a recap. We're going to share our takeaways. I'm going to let you guys kind of see into my notes here. Um, you know, and I wanna, we'll do like story time with Matt and I'll just read you my notes. Now we'll, we'll talk to <laughs> story time. More importantly, we'll take questions and okay. kind of just, you know, I, I believe Jeff's a great teacher. I love his style. It, it resonates with me, but sometimes like you, you heard Jeff say something and it just didn't, it didn't click with you. And then right. you hear me say virtually the same thing, but it's like that. So that's our new bonus. That we, and you get it because you purchased before we even offered it. Like, okay. <laughs> Yay. I'm excited about that. Why? First past the post. <laughs> why did you, why did you join PLF? Why did you become a PLF owner? Um, oh, it's kind of an interesting story. So, you know, that I came to you through Carol Tice. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I had decided to join the freelance writer's den because I was kind of looking for something to do to make money with the skills that I had. And uh, I found her through Renegade Writers and uh, Linda Formicelli. And then, so I was on there and I was doing the journalism school and I was, I was failing miserably at it. <laughs> Every time I put something up, like my pitch or something, I had three different editors give me three different feedback and basically tell me that that's not going to fly. <laughs> so I, I don't take it hard. It kind of made me laugh because I actually have a double major in history and English literature. <laughs> so clearly I'm not a good journalist. <laughs> so I did it on a whim, you know, I thought it would be kind of interesting. I was traveling a lot through the course and then she popped your thing up. And uh, I used to work in marketing, online marketing actually. Uh, so I was, I'm a little bit older than all y'all. <laughs> so I was in the dot-com craze before it crashed. I worked for a travel.com. And then I went and worked for a couple of online marketing consulting firms. And, you know, we, you were surprised that he was nice, that Jeff was nice. Uh, all the online marketing people I've worked with are buttheads. Like they scream and yell, they throw chairs. I used to work so, with Deloitte so they're Consulting. Bobby Knight? <laughs> their pardon? They're Bobby Knight? Yes. Yes. So it's just nothing. Bobby had that look on his face like I have no idea who Bobby Knight is. I know Bobby Knight is. I know who so. he is. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Were you reading? You make me want to throw my chair right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> they would do that in, I came into that environment from being in IT uh, because I do human computer interaction. Before that, I was a programmer. So I did SAP for Deloitte. That was like one of my first jobs and that very professional work environment. And then I go to these online marketing environments and when things aren't working because creative is king and they would throw temper tantrums and then they get mad at me because I wasn't displaying the same behavior. So I left online marketing because there was no way I wanted to be a part of that. And then I had kids and then I homeschooled and that was kind of like the background. So when your affiliate course popped up, I went, I know what that is, but I've done it on really large scale for really large companies where affiliates are, you know, coming to us yeah. because we're in a dot-com travel company. We got bought by Sears Travel. So I was part of that whole acquisition and I was the national director for CRM. So doing affiliates made sense to me, but doing it on a personal level because I left the online marketplace 16 years ago. I don't know any of this. I have not seen any of this, right? You know, we're talking 2001 that I left, 2003. So when you came up and I, I said, hey, that sounds interesting. So then I'm in the middle of your course. And you remember, I'm thinking I'm going to be a freelance writer. And I couldn't quite figure out how that applied to Carol's thing. And there's this little thing I do on the side where I teach kids entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And we go through five classes. And then we put on a children's business fair. And it is 
utterly transformative. I know transformative is not a word, but everybody likes to use that word. So it, it is. It's they, not a word. It's not a word. Trust the English major. <laughs> it might become a word. Google this positivity. Now. Positivity is also not a word. <laughs> so it's not a word. Put it's it in grammar. My... Everybody yells at you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so these kids and and like what Mary was talking about, uh, sort of an autistic population. I get a lot of autistic kids in my class because they hyper focus. So they get really interesting in something. They're super into Lego and I help them take that passion and that hyper focus and turn it into a teeny tiny business. So they go to the business fair and some stranger comes up and hands over money to them and it changes their perspective of themselves. They feel valued. They feel listened to. They feel important. And the homeschool parents come back and go, was never into math. Oh my God. Now they just, they're doing decimal point multiplication. Now they weren't interested in writing and yet they wrote a whole backstory to their product. You know, it just, they were struggling. So that's my avatar are these homeschool moms, usually or dads that have got kids between six and probably about 13 or 14 who are struggling with getting their kids to engage and they're battling with them every day to get them to do their schoolwork. And this is one thing that they can do where they will see huge growth and they can document it. The product is an artifact that they can provide to their school board or whoever they're accountable to for their homeschooling details. So when I was on with your one hour little webinar, it was literally like the light bulb went off. So then we go to Jeff. And my, my brain is so full right now, I don't even know what to do with it. So you see the realm of possibilities expand in front of you because this man makes it, it just, he just makes it possible. And you get excited about it. And I wasn't you gonna spend the money. Been in his ecosystem for like two weeks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, and, I know. And the thing is, you know, and you emailed me about this and, I, and what I told you was, listen, I mean, you've, you've got our course, you've got PLF and you know, I get that it, it can be information overload. And I mean. People who know me know that I'm not an advocate for like, go buy 17 courses. That's the solution. Yeah. It's yeah, just, yeah. you know, in addition to our, our own stuff, of course, which, you know, I'm a big believer in our own stuff. There really is only one course out there that I would ever say, I sent you the response that I sent one of our yeah. mastermind. Yeah, yeah. There's only one course and that, you know, that I would ever say like, you, you really have to get it. And that is PLF. And, and the thing oh, is, that's it only opens up once a year. You can always do like I did purchase it now and then not go through it for a few months, you know, or <laughs> not, you know, but uh, I love that you took action. Um, oh, thanks. So Again, started, it was my yeah. husband. He talked me into buying your course, if you remember. Yeah. And he said, I went, oh, it's too expensive. And he's like looking at it. He's going, that's not expensive for what you're getting. That's not really expensive. <laughs> I went, no, we can't afford it right now. He's like, yes, we can. <laughs> I'm like, okay. What's your husband's name? Yeah, Scott. I think he's actually lingering outside the room right now. There you go. Shout out like to Scott. walk back behind there being like staring. Yeah, at <laughs> there it is. Because he owns his own business. My husband does identity management and procurement. So he's an entrepreneur and he works with, you know, multi-million dollar products and stuff like that. So he looks at $2,000 and goes, that's not, it's not expensive. <laughs> that's not. My home economics says it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to spend a lot of time together in no product, no problem. That's not what we're talking about today, but you're one of our NPM peers. We're going to spend a lot of time together in there, but now we get to spend uh, nine more sessions together. I know. And then I have the PLF calls on Mondays yeah. <laughs> and I'm doing um, uh, John Lee Dumas's podcast. Like I did Lewis Howe's one, but I thought a podcast would be a really, really great addition to this to talk to child entrepreneurs that are doing great things and doing great businesses and i launched that literally in 10 days so i'm learning how to do a whole bunch of technical stuff i didn't know how to do before so there's there's that so yeah I, like i keep looking behind myself to see if anything is on the floor because all the information keeps falling out of the back of my head because i don't have any room left any longer so that's so that's why i bought I bought it was because it just seems like I'm on a crazy train, right? Like I just got picked up by you somehow and I, there's just no stopping it. It's going off the track. So that's, 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 that's how why. affiliate 
marketing works, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> awesome. I get it. I was in marketing long enough to see where it was all going. I kept saying that to Scott. I just need to know how much it's going to cost. He had me in the first session. If he would just tell me how much it costs, <laughs> I'd buy it now. It's fine. <laughs> so it's good. So, yeah, it was good. That's the reason why. Yep. Well, awesome stuff, Stacey. I'm glad you're a PLF owner. I look forward to seeing you at, at Jeff's events because we're always there. Uh, yeah, Phoenix, with, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm just excited. I'm excited you're in. I can't wait to uh, to <laughs> hear all that you're getting out of it as we go through um, those those lessons, you know, together. It's gonna be it's gonna yeah. be a lot of fun. So and with everybody the... new that signed up, I am looking forward to see how they implement it and and see how what it does for their business. Like I'm excited to see it for myself, but it's uh, I, I'm looking forward to the outcome. So well, that's the best part is you're not just learning uh, on your own, right? you're learning uh, together and you're going to learn from what other people get from it. And sometimes you can watch the same lesson as somebody else, but they get a takeaway and you go, got it, got it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So those calls would be great. Thank you. That's a great bonus. Awesome, Stacy. Well, thank you so much. And uh, see you soon. Thank you. Bye guys. See you later. Say goodbye to Mark. Where I really will. Just, like, just randomly off. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. So for those of you just joining us, we're talking about Jeff Walker's PLF masterclass. If you want, if you missed our recap earlier of the lessons we learned, you can go back and watch the replay. I'm joined today by Robbie Miles and uh, Mark Sievercrop is in the background, <laughs> not literally in the back. He's like hiding over there. No, like in a gorilla costume. No, he's having some tech issues. So we're like chatting with him, you know, in the team chat here on Live, so he can bring on our next guest, Timby. Um, I'll just introduce her before she jumps on. Timby is just, uh, um, Mary, Mary's awesome. Timby's also awesome. I, I, I can't, I, like, I can't be like, Oh, more awesome. Cause these, all the people we have on today are absolutely amazing. Um, but Timby's story is, uh, just so unbelievably amazing. I mean, she left Zimbabwe. I don't, I'll ask her when I think we're having issues getting her on. Um, yep. So we'll, we'll try Mark's trying to bring her on. Um, and I don't know, Robbie, I don't think either, you, either you or I can bring anybody on. It's like, we're looking like okay, reliant no. on Mark. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to like say all these awesome things about Timmy and then she's not going to be able to get on. Um, well, hopefully she will be, but she left Zimbabwe, you know, I have to ask her when moved to Canada today. She is helping, uh, you know, women in Africa to uh, do some, some just amazing things to start businesses, to become virtual assistants. Uh, and we'll ask her uh, more stuff. Okay, so we're having Timmy is going to leave and then come back, and hopefully that will fix the issue. It's kind of like rebooting. Um, so hopefully we'll get Timmy on. I mean, Timmy is just just amazing. Um, so here, real quick, while we're waiting on Timmy, I will share this with you guys. <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, our our bonuses that we talked about earlier. Again, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash get plf. We've got just $5,324 worth of bonuses. Robbie, do you want to take us through those bonuses while I can rest my voice for just a moment? Because I'm having some serious throat issues today. Um, yeah, you bet. Our first bonus is the Destroy Your Limiting Beliefs Self-Coaching Guide. And um, the thing I love about this is Jeff is always talking about, you know, playing the the inside game, how it's all up here between your ears, you know, between your headphones, you know, when they're not blasting in there. So this particular bonus is great because it helps you um, see what those limiting beliefs are and how you can push past them. Uh, and that one's usually uh, $3.99. At this point, I don't think there's anywhere else they can get this um, except for one -on -one through... Coaching. Yeah, one-on-one yeah, -on -one coaching, which is a lot more than $3.99. All right. The... <laughs> Our second bonus here is the list launch challenge. And the list launch challenge is a five day challenge where we help you take a list. You could literally have zero people on your list right now. And our goal is to help you get at least that first thousand in five days. Now, sometimes it takes a little bit longer, um, but overall we've seen you know numbers of people actually be able to do this. And that's usually $4.99. The third bonus here is the Networking with Purpose Live. Now, this is something I know you can't see him now because he's not showing up. But this is something that Mark 
<laughs> and Matt, he can't even hear me say that. Uh, this is something that Mark and Matt and uh, John Corcoran as well, um, they did a, um, a full interview about how to connect with influencers and how to um, really just network with purpose, right? So you're not just doing something for the sake of reaching out to these people, but you have reason and the, a good why behind it. So that bonus is usually 199, but that'll be included uh, with PLF. Next is seven figure affiliate launch course. This is um, our premier course on recruiting JV partners. And that's usually 1997. The fifth bonus are Matt's recruiting swipe files. Uh, you literally cannot get these anywhere else. You can't buy these. Um, and so priceless, it's almost like a MasterCard commercial or something. Uh, the sixth bonus <laughs> is Matt's affiliate promo checklist. This is usually $432, but you can literally just go down the line and check things off as you uh, recruit affiliates, as you bring them in, and as they help you promote uh, through your next product launch. And then finally, our seventh bonus here. This was just added today. Okay. Um, I can tell you, I'm super excited about this as somebody who has personally not been through um, product launch formula. This is going to be huge, but we are going to go through the product launch formula with you. Okay. So the nine core courses um, we will walk through with you. And this is probably in the realm of $1,800, probably more. Um, but, <laughs> you know, I mean, we're going to get your takeaways. Plus it's this, the, that, uh, amazing uh, gelling, for lack of a better word, that happens when you're with that small, uh, you know, mastermind style group. So with that, um, are we ready to bring Timby on? I think we are still having issues. So we're going to bring on a different guest who is who is due up soon. We're at least trying that. Okay. Um, so we're going to see if we can bring on Eric Solback and Nope, and we have. Oh, there's Timmy. Oh, hey. 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 Wait a minute, that's not Eric. <laughs> you know what? We can bring both on. I say this, Mark can't hear anything. Uh, I know. I'll Eric text him. All right, do you text him and say we can just bring on Eric and we can all have a conversation about PLF? But real quick, guys, I just want to introduce uh, Timmy to you guys. I mean, he's like. The, the quick, like, official story, um, you know, I know that Jeff tells, and I just love it. Literally left Zimbabwe, um, abusive relationship. Uh, would you, would you, was it like five bucks that you, I mean, like, literally like five dollars? Yep. Um, five dollars I mean, and zero cents. <laughs> and then just Canadian go, dollars, Tambi. It's Canadian dollars too. It was <laughs> Canadian dollars. It was US dollars. It was three bucks. <laughs> Canadian dollars. So it's like 18 cents, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Burn. Canadian. Yeah. Um, that was a that was a joke, eh? Uh, <laughs> I mean, just oh, gosh, there's there's so much I could say. Um you know, she's helping women in Africa now. We're talking like real estate investing, virtual assistant stuff, just all kinds of good stuff. Um, in large part due to product launch formula, guys. And then Eric, well, let's be honest. Eric's story is not as cool. Um, <laughs> because Eric did not come from halfway around the world. <laughs> well, I got a story on that one, I'm Matt, for you, but it's at another time. Oh, <laughs> you know, but literally... Eric's in a rock band. And I mean, you should like, you guys should follow him on, on Facebook, just if nothing else, just to kind of see some of the stuff he do. He's doing, he literally takes one of the most boring industries that I can think of and makes it interesting and exciting. Um, you know, so I'll let him tell you about that. So real quick, Timby, Eric, <laughs> introduce yourselves, take a moment to do that. And then I want to talk about your experiences with PLF and, and how it's, uh, how it's helped your businesses. Absolutely. Um, so as, Matt said, my name is Tambi, and I, I've been in PLF for three years in 2015. And really the reason why I joined PLF, um, Matt was saying that I was in real estate. I used to invest in real estate. And coming from Zimbabwe with my background, I wanted to give people and just empower women in Zimbabwe. And I didn't know how to do it. I was so stuck. I'm like, what can I do to help women in Zimbabwe? So I came across Jeff Walker uh, on September 25th in the afternoon. 
And I literally bought his program within two hours from that time. Like, like I was on because I knew this was what I wanted and it has definitely changed a lot of things. Love it. And Eric, I, mean, I kind of gave you a brief intro I mean, yeah. in the most boring okay. industry in the entire history of mankind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, here's the funny thing. No one gives a shit about accountants, but I do. <laughs> okay. I, because I, I am, because I am one. I, 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 I give a crap about my accountant because he kind of <laughs> controls our money. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, so here's the interesting. So for me, I was in public practice. I was a CPA for 26 years and I sold my accounting practice and basically went to look for a new life. I was trying to find something new to do. And I ran across Jeff Walker's product launch formula. And I saw this amazing online world and this life we could have. And, and I thought, this is amazing, but I had no idea what I was going to do. And so, uh, but as Jeff says in the PLF, he says, you can, you can figure that out. You, if you don't have a product, no problem. Don't have a list, no problem. Uh, don't have any experience online, no problem. And so I had all those three checked, right? Heavy metal check, one, two, three. And, um, and so I decided to go into this world. I bought product, product launch formula. I started studying it and, and I came up with an idea and I tested it with a seed launch and now I have a thriving six-figure business. That's awesome. Wow. So, Eric, and I play in a heavy metal band because now I've got time to actually do that because I'm I'm not behind a desk anymore working like a like I said in the most boring um, uh, <laughs> industry known to man. Is that what you said, Matt? Something like that? Yeah. R roughly, yeah. I, yeah. I need to send this. Like, I need to send. I think I already did. I think I sent your stuff to our accountant, and uh, but he's actually he's he's a fun dude. And uh, yeah. kind of reminds me a little bit of you, but uh, shorter, balder, chubbier, and wider. Um, oh, so just a, my my a brother from another mother is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. so Timmy, when did you join PLF? 2015, 2015 September. And you know, it's funny because when I joined PLF, I had this grandiose idea that I was going to teach people how to invest in real estate, and I did it. I did it and had a success in that however now my business has completely shifted from yeah. that to something else to like a service model and it's that's the good thing about plf like you don't have to be stuck in one model doing the same thing you can shift anytime you want like you can shift like i shifted from real estate now i empower women to in zimbabwe and whatever it is that i'm doing i just use the same model whatever it is that i'm launching i just use the same model to launch that's what i love about plf <laughs> And it gets easier every time. I mean, that's oh my goodness, it gets so much easier. <laughs> when you jumped into this new niche, it didn't feel like you were swimming with, you know, boots on. You no. you, you had a. It's almost like you had a formula. Yeah, it a is a formula. formula. Yeah, it is a plug in and play, plug in and play formula. Like so yeah. easy. And Eric, so Timmy, you were in fifteen. Eric, when did you join? Um, I think we would have bought. I would have bought at the same time. Um, I would have bought at the same time. And then, uh, and then I studied like crazy. I never had any online experience whatsoever. So I studied oh, the wow. course. I just took the modules. I studied the course. I, you know, went on Jeff, they did some weekly coaching calls too, which was fantastic. And I just like, it was like, I was taking a sip of water from a fire hose, but I just, it's, it's, it's amazing when you just follow the basics of what he says and the outline, all of a sudden it's like, wow, this is easier than it's, than it looks. And like I said, I didn't even have a product or a list or any experience online. And I did a seed, my first seed launch. I did, you know, I did 10 grand. It was okay. Um, but the best part was, is I had this echo that happened. Jeff calls it launch echo, which mm -hmm. then threw me into all these people coming and asking me to work with them one-on-one. -on -one. And next thing I know, within a few months of my first seed launch, um, I had $111,000 of revenue. Yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, I did the wow thing too. I was like, really? And I was like, holy crap, this works. That's a 56X. I should have become an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> At least when the money comes in, I know how to count it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't have the same success he had. My first launch was 3,500. And actually, but one thing which happened after that is it was so easy. I became this well-known real estate guru and I just started getting people coming to me and eventually I had six a six-figure launch a couple years back and it was like oh my god it's moving and it was just moving faster and now 
as Matt was saying, this industry I'm in, it was such an easy transition because when you launch, people know you as an aspect, whatever industry you're in, and you just become known and you just, you just, launching is one way to establish yourself as an authority with no list, with no product, and if you're not known anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That is so cool. So tell us about your, your niche now, Timby. What, I mean, I know, of course, but tell us about that now. What are you doing? Yeah, so now I train women in Zimbabwe. Uh, actually, we're expanding from Z just outside Zimbabwe, but right now it's in Zimbabwe. I train women in Africa how to become virtual assistants. And once they become virtual assistants, I have a virtual assistant agency. So you, it's people who are stuck with tech. We basically work with tech. People are stuck with tech and are scared to launch it. They don't know what to do, worried about building landing pages. They basically come to us and there is no contract. There is nothing. You just work with us on a monthly retainer, cancel whenever you want. And you're empowering women in Zimbabwe, and you're also building your business and scaling your business faster. Mm. So, Eric, tell us what a product launch – well, actually, tell us what the, what you're offering accountants. Well, let's, let's focus on that for a second, and then tell us what a product launch looks like to accountants. Yeah, so here's the interesting thing. I'm like When I first went in, like I said, I had no idea for – um, I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up, Matt. I was, like I was, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life, okay. and and so what happened was is that and, and what Jeff says is we've got this experience. Everyone has a certain amount of life experience. Yep. And it, and as I started going through the program, and I so the first step was buy the program, bought PLF, started doing the studying, started following it, and then I started seeing the dots starting to connect, where I had these accountants asking me about what I did when I was in public practice, when I had my accounting firm, because I actually worked as I worked zero overtime in my accounting practice, unlike most accountants who work like dogs. Mm -hmm. And I also sold my practice easily on a multiple in billings because it was cash flowing so well. And then I realized this is a model that actually works for accountants. So I now coach accountants on updating their business model because the business model in the accounting profession is flawed. It's based on a billable hour and trying to crunch as many tax returns as possible, which then creates this horrible lifestyle for accountants. Mm. So I went, wait a second. I care about accountants. I know this industry. I did this. And so I now I've created this accountant success formula. And, and since then, again, you know, I did the seed launch and I was just testing it out. Now I've formalized the process. I've actually written a book on it and I've just done my first nine module course. So like I just like... You don't even need any of that stuff to get started in PLF. You just get started with a seed launch. And next thing you know, now I'm actually in the middle of the launch right now. My my PLC one went out today. And Tammy, I saw you were on my list. So thank you. And, <laughs> yeah, I want to be an accountant. Yeah, there you go. And so it's basically, and, and, and you know, I'm not, you know, I'm empowering accountants to basically take take their lives back and, and get on the path to freedom. That is awesome. It's, actually, that's incredible. I love, I love what you're doing. I mean, I, it like it's all gibberish to me, but I love what you're doing. I love the yeah. marketing side of it. It's, it's I want to jump in. Mm -hmm. yeah, I want to jump in. Eric said something here important. He said, "Tembi, I saw you on my list. I don't want to be an accountant, but that's what the PLF of community is all about. Like we support each other. I'm not on his list to learn how to be an accountant. I don't care about the accountant success formula, but I'm there to see if <laughs> anything goes wrong. I, I I have his back. I'm like." Buddy, this is not working. Buddy, your video is like this. That's how. That's one thing which I gained from PLF, which I didn't have in real estate because it's such a community which is all about supporting each other. I just wanted to kind of mention that. Oh, that is a great point. Well, it's also been in really incredible to see um, all the stories so far have been people who are sharing, you know, whatever their little expertise is and going out and like, changing so many other people's lives that's what i continue to see with plf it's not just about your business and just about you making you know six figures but all these lives down the line that you don't even know you know how far your uh reach extends like that's just amazing you know making accountants lives better making you know empowering women like wow that to me is just incredible so it's so awesome to hear your stories it's funny yeah. before you said about the community timby it hit me. I'm like looking it up at my screen here. And just to give you guys a, a visual, I've got Eric over here, Timby over here, and Robbie, you're completely blocked by the camera. So I don't see you. <laughs> um, so it's it's Eric, camera, Timby. And it was just it was just hitting. I was like, I don't know why it was, but it just hit me. I was like, you know, 
something we haven't talked about. We've been, you know, live for about an hour and a half now, and uh, we haven't really talked about the community yet. And it was like a reminder to me that, you know, when you talked about her being on your list and I was like, wait a minute, how have I not addressed this? And then Timby, you know, you know, great minds think alike and whatnot. You jumped in with that. And it's just like, yeah, that community guys is, is worth it in and of itself because the, the value, I mean, that's, that's why we're doing the bonus where we're going to go through the course with you guys for, for nine sessions, you know, for nine modules, the nine core modules, we're going to go through it with you because there's so much value in just having those extra eyes because Jeff's a great teacher. I think we would all agree that he's, he's personally, um, he's my favorite teacher. You know I mean? I think I'm good, but he's my personal favorite. But there's sometimes where he just says something and it doesn't click with us. But then Eric comes in and posts and it's like, oh, got it now. You know, or we just need that support. Like, I don't know why it's just not registering with me. You know, we have those moments, right, where we're just all slow for whatever reason. And then I, I can and then Timby will jump in or sometimes we just need somebody to, you know, kick us in the butt. Sometimes we need somebody to pick us up. And I know Timby, you've done that for, for me a few times. Eric, you've done that for me. You continue to do it. That one image you posted about what entrepreneurship was like. I mean, like I keep reminding myself of that, dude, it, that has picked yeah. me up a dozen times in the last, you know, six months or four months or whatever. So the community is just amazing guys. So, um, Timmy, if anybody is on the fence about PLF, um, I mean, there, there's a thousand objections. We, we don't have time to address all of those, but if they're on the fence, what would you tell them? What would you tell them their next step is? Click the button and buy now. <laughs> Keeps it simple. Well, <laughs> I'm just gonna yeah. say this, um, and this is this is um, of what I have known of Matt. I've, I think I've known him for a year or so now, and you you are so much fortunate to be working with men and getting his bonuses. Like I am in his email list as well. I get all his emails. He is smart. He's very well respected in the industry. And the bonuses which he's offering, I know that they're going to just help you. Just having access to Matt or his team once in with every module that comes out, that's huge. That's, if I didn't have PLF, I would just be buying it just for the bonus, for that bonus alone. I'll just be buying it. But having said that, really, what is the worst that could happen? And I want to give an example of um of my students. Meta, you've heard the story before where I share how the women I train in Zimbabwe, they pay hundred US dollars to take my course. The, one of them just wrote a testimonial recently, actually a few days ago, and she said that between her and her husband, when she took my course, they were earning 65 US dollars a month. And now she earns that in a day because she took my course. So what is the investment worth for you? What is the investment worth for you? If somebody in Zimbabwe can take her husband's salary and her salary and add on some more and pay 100 US dollars to take my virtual assistant course, What's holding you back? And I feel like in North America, uh, we have so many excuses. Like we get caught up in so many excuses of saying, oh, I can't do this because it's not in my budget. But you look at somebody taking a trip. What is your retirement worth for you? What is making other people making an impact? You just had Eric talking about changing lives for, for accountants. What is changing lives for the people you care about worth for you? You just have no excuse. You just have to get started and click the button. I mean, and this this from a lady who left Zimbabwe, went to Canada with five Canadian, no, it was American, American dollars, <laughs> you know, <laughs> five bucks. I mean, like, I, I, yeah, there are very few people who, who live in America. Like I, I always joke about, I, uh, my, I, I grew up on the right side of the tracks, but my mom had to work three jobs to keep us there. And I could see the tracks from the bedroom window. Like that's my experience. I had a single mom growing up for most of my life. And uh, there's nothing like what you went through Timby. And so if there's no excuse for Timby, uh, there was no excuse for Stacy who joined us a moment ago, who, who's now a PLF owner. Uh, I was just looking, um, Susan, Therese and Denisa, Denisa, did I write that down? Right. I got to double check here. Denise, have joined since we've been on live. Denise, I don't know if you're on, 
but uh, glad you decided to become a PLF owner. So do what can be said. You know, click the button. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dennis. Congratulations. I'm so excited to see you in because, because this is the great community. This is the best community you've ever you've ever been involved in. I and I mean it. I've taken a few courses myself. This is one of the best communities you're gonna be in. And I am so excited for you. And I'll see you inside. And please feel free to ask me any questions. I'm always there answering questions inside the community. So I can't wait to see you, Dennis and Stacy and everybody else who joined. <laughs> Should I just go and let Timby run this for the next half hour? Because <laughs> I've got a webinar in 44 minutes. I would, I'll rest my, I'll just. Uh, <laughs> um, I do have one question for you, Eric. It's day one of your launch, dude. Yeah, I know. So um, let, let's talk about that. It's day one of your launch, account, accountant success formula. Um, like, let's tell, Path to freedom. What's going on in your world? How you feeling? And by the way, thank you for joining us today when it's the first day of your launch. Like that's insane. But that's well, the community dude, and PLF guys. Yeah, it is. But it, there's, a, there's just the other part that I wanted to bring up here is that here's the thing. This is a lifestyle now for me. This is another reason why I, I, I took PLF and I wanted to get an online business is because it's lifestyle. I mean, I'm in the middle of a launch. Do I look stressed? Nope. Like I'm able to spend time. I've actually, I got to show you this. It's my daughter's seventh birthday today. So I've got these balloons and there's a bunch of presents on the floor. And you and, can totally pretend those are for all your new students who join. And, and I'm working here with my <laughs> wife is right here. Right. And like, here's the thing. This is the lifestyle for me, right? It, it's a, it's a lifestyle. And there's dogs barking in the, in the background. <laughs> like, I mean, Here's the thing. It's a lifestyle now for me where I'm, yeah, I'm making incredible, like I'm making way more money than I ever thought possible, but I'm doing it from the comfort of my own home in a, a relaxed environment. This is why I wanted to do this as an online business is for freedom. And you know, that's for me, it's, it, that's everything. So yeah, I'm in the middle of a launch, but I've got it all like it's taken care of. Like you don't have to go knock on doors to make sales. You've got this formula that takes care of it for you. So there you go. It's so awesome. So how's it going so far, by the way? Great, man. I'm on the call here with you and I'm totally relaxed. <laughs> I love it, man. Well, this, uh, this is the beginning of another, you know, launch for you. You're going to change the lives of, of so many accountants. And, uh, and, and when you look at this, Matt, just when we were talking about this, and I mean, no one give no one cares about accountants except for me. Okay. I'm the only guy. Right. I remember when oh. you said that at PLF Live, which, by the way, that's a reminder. One of the okay. bonuses you guys get when you join Product Launch Formula is a ticket to Product Launch Formula Live where you can hear Eric get up there and talk about how nobody gives a crap about accountants. Yes, exactly. <laughs> nobody cares about accountants. But here's the kicker, guys. Who are who do the accountants work with? Business owners, yeah. all of you. So when I improve the lives of the accountants and put them in a business model that gets them out of the stress, out of the billable hour with a number that you know how much you're paying your accountant right away, they're more relaxed. They're able to give you more value. Look at the trickle down. Every single business owner gets impacted. And when every single business owner gets impacted, that impacts their clients and their families and ba 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 ba. This is like this impact of a billion lives is on my wall. I impact the accountants. I will impact a billion, a billion lives. That is so awesome. Yeah. Um, gosh, I can't wait to hear your debrief. In the oh, I'll put it out. You'll see my briefs, dude. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be wait, posting. I'll wait, let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Let's not go there. <laughs> yeah. hey, you, oh, we're not having fun. We're even having fun. Oh no! Okay. I thought Mark just texted us an awkward GIF, but no, <laughs> it was him. It was it was uh, who is that? Somebody throwing a computer because he's having tech issues. So I love GIFs. GIFs, are the best. GIFs made texting so much more fun. Uh, yeah, I'm so having lighting issues. Both of you are amazing. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I, 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 it's a, it's an honor to, to be in the PLF community with you guys, to be friends, to, and get to see you guys in just a, I don't know what, six, five weeks ish, six weeks. Yeah. Um, yeah. So thank you. Thank you for sharing your story so generously. Eric, we'll let you get back to doing absolutely nothing because it's a stress-free <laughs> launch. And, uh, yeah, here we are. Wow. Uh, Tim says, wow, day one of the launch and you're here to give back. I'm impressed. So. You have a new fan and Tim there for sure, Eric. Um, both of right you, on. thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. You.
Thanks and for having thanks us for, on, Matt. Thanks so much for having us, uh, thanks, Matt. And honestly, for everyone who's listening here, I just want to wrap up with saying product launch has changed a lot of lives, and I'm one of those people. And I also um, believe that it's not just getting product launch formula, it's also who you get it through. And when you get it with the bonuses, which Matt is offering, I've seen them, I mean, Matt's email list, like it's a no brainer. It's a no brainer for you to get started. So just get started, change your life. And as Mary mentioned, you have 30 days, not that you're gonna get in and cancel, but I know you're not, but just in case it's not working for you, you have 30 days to get a full refund. You get a ticket to PLF Live, you get a ticket to Launch Club Live. That's one of the bonuses. You also get a ticket to Launch Club Live and you just get so many bonuses out there. Get out there, get started and stop delaying. I have nothing to add to that. No. <laughs> she's, got your, she's got your whole sales pitch. <laughs> just do what Timby says. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right. Well, let's bring on our last guest, uh, Jenna. Linsky. We're going to talk about her PLF story and uh, let's see if we got her. I know she's in the lobby. Let's see if we can get her on. Mark is texting us to ask. I'll let you uh, handle that, Robbie. Yep. But let's see here. Um, so real quick, just a reminder about those bonuses. Again, all the bonuses we talked about, if you missed them, hey, Jenna, hey. if you missed them, um, I'm just going to highlight two huge bonuses again, out of the $5,324 worth of bonuses, you get access to our seven figure affiliate launch course, and you get access to me and my team for nine weeks. We're going to go through PLF with you. Uh, we'll meet every other week for nine, for the nine core modules. We'll share our takeaways, answer any questions you guys have and, and actually go through the program with you. So again, Join uh, Stacy, who you heard from earlier, Susan, Teresa, and Denisa, who've joined since we've been live. Make sure you join them. Get in Product Launch Formula. And uh, Jenna, welcome. Hi. <laughs> awesome <laughs> to have you. Well, real quick, uh, as we wrap up here for today, guys, uh, Jenna's our last guest, and she's going to share kind of her PLF story. And uh, so, Jenna, I'll let you take it away. Tell us about what you do, uh, who you help, who you serve, and who oh. you're you know, when you do a product launch formula launch, who is it, who is it helping and, and what's that product and all, all that fun stuff. Just tell us everything about you actually real quick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, for the past 10 years, I've been a licensed psychotherapist and I, I've been specializing in the field of trauma. Um, however, you know, therapy is a modality I feel is really failing the people, you know, you focus on what's wrong and you kind of just stay there. I found PLF in November of 2017 when I was kind of looking for, a, you know, a way to make this better. I, you know, I wanted to focus on the positives and the strengths and show how trauma can actually make people stronger rather than just take them to down and, and spend years in therapy and not make any changes in their lives. I found it. It was the perfect platform in which to really put it out there. When I launch, we're in my launch is next week. We are launching. Oh my goodness, we had we had <laughs> Eric on, whose day one is today. You're launching next week, so we'll talk about that in a moment. That's awesome. Yeah, and yeah, well, you guys are seeing a trend here with mm -hmm. our. It's like, you know, it's not all like my launch is in you know nine months or a year. A lot of these people like they've got a lot going on, and yet they're still able to make the time mm -hmm. to join us today. Like Tim was just commenting, how impressive that is. Yeah. So now I do coaching. I help people after 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 any traumatic life event to make their life better than it was before. To, because you know people can be superhumans after trauma, and so that's my focus. That's what that's what we target. That's the that's what we do. And I do programs and I do coaching, and yeah. So finding PLF was a game changer for me because. Not only am I able to reach way more people, but I'm able to do what I want to do rather than be restricted by my license as a psychotherapist, be restricted by what insurance will or will not pay for. And I can do exactly what I want, no hands tied, really, really make a difference, really help people in ways that I was not able to do in my decade long career as a, a psychotherapist. So it's very exciting. Yeah. 
you have you have a cool story that, that I want to get to, but I've got to share, guys. Behind the scenes, we have a we, we because we had some tech issues, and Mark Mark's like able he's able he's running it behind the scenes, but he's not able to be on. So we have this like ongoing text thread, and Robbie just now noticed that I'm wearing a Coeur d'Alene t-shirt, <laughs> which is where he lives, which is where he lives. Like, how is that even possible? And then I got to share. He probably is like, no, don't share that. I got to share. It's like we're going to start a drinking game or something because if, if you, you know the running joke, um, I like PLF Live or LaunchCon, which are two of Jeff Walker's events, uh, everyone, um, with Mastin Kip and the word trauma. And and so he, Mark was like, every time she says trauma, I can't help but think of Mastin. <laughs> <laughs> and so we talked about making that into like a PLF Live drinking game. It's like every time Mastin says trauma, you know, then there would be nobody sober there. But um, <laughs> so your story, it's very similar to everyone else's. This is the thing we see. It's like you had something in life. In your case, I'll let you share what that was that was traumatic for you mm-hmm. and also inspirational, Like, which is also a theme, you know, with trauma and then on the other yeah. side of trauma. You had an event. You had a life experience. It altered you in, in, a, in this case in a negative but then positive way. And now you help others. Yes. Similar things, you know, might not be exactly what you're going through. Um, So let's, let's, and then we're going to stop there. So what was that event for you? Then we'll stop there. And then we'll kind of talk about weaving PLF into that. Okay. Well, 15 years ago, I survived cancer. I had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yeah. And it was was a couple years of battling for my life. Yeah. Yeah, What's the survival rate on? on lymphoma, it's pretty low, isn't it? Yes, depending on what stage you're in. But yes, it's it's a bad one to have. It's a blood cancer like leukemia. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've known two people who had it and you know, neither one of them made it past a year after yeah. diagnosis, maybe 18 months, one of them, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyway, continue, sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's why I wanted to become a psychotherapist to help people, but I was finding that just in that realm, I was not able to make the lasting influence nor change that I wanted to. So, so life experience, lessons, mm-hmm. helping others. Of course, the question is, how do we get in front of those people? How do we help them? Right. Enter product launch formula. Um, you get into that. What is that? What does that look like for you? A kind of weaving because this is, you know, we had a question earlier. Does this apply to physical products? Does this only apply to digital products? And I was like, I, I mean, we named like eight or nine things that it could apply to: physical products, digital products, books, masterminds, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, this is one we haven't heard yet today. How does this? Uh, how do you weave PLF in PLF into um, helping people with with trauma? Well. The the coaching aspect, I use PLF with all of my finding clients and coaching, getting getting them in. Also, my ongoing courses and programs that I do. So, okay, so I didn't realize you had courses. That's what I didn't know. I thought it was just the coaching. Yes. Okay, cool. So you got both of those. You you do PLF with both of those. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, and Mark wants you to know he's bummed that you're not on to be able to chat. Wait, what does he say, Rob? Um, he's not on. <laughs> How can I bummed I'm not able to be on to chat with her? So there you have it. Mark is bummed that his technology sucks. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> uh, so how long were you doing this before PLF? Doing the therapy? Because I, I don't do therapy now with PLF. I'm, I'm more of a coach, but I was a, I was a therapist. It's been 11 years. Okay. <laughs> So you were 11 years of therapist. Did you have any courses or like non-therapy type stuff before PLF or did that all come after PLF? Um, I t- use programs. A lot of therapists don't, but I would use curriculum kind of in my, in because I feel like that was very beneficial with my clients before. So I kind of had that, but I did not nearly have the extent to what I have now. That is one of the things that PLF has also really helped me with, with organizing and and structuring all of that. And so one of the limitations to therapy is if I do the math right, if you meet with everybody for one hour and you have any kind of life, Mm -hmm. um, that, and you meet with people say every other week, you can literally max out around 70 clients. Like that's the absolute max. And I'm sure that's really high. 
because you I know they're <laughs> really high. You're not just spending the one hour with them. You're you're writing your notes. You know, so seventy is like max, max, like no life, you know, whatsoever. Right. Um, and that's a pretty, you know, yeah, impacting 70 lives is great. And some people need that therapy, but taking this into course world has allowed you to impact infinitely more people, which I think is kind of the, the cool side of that. So it has. When, when you entered the, the PLF realm, you started creating these courses. Um, did you have a vision that like even came close to what you're doing now for the type no. of impact? you would have i had no idea yeah <laughs> it's so cool i mean that's like it's so cool here. It's, it's so it's so cool um what's uh your next launch is coming up in a week tell us what let's 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 just go there what's the prep look like for that what are you doing right now to get ready for that other than being with us which doesn't help you at all <laughs> <laughs> well daily emails i've been calling a lot of the people that i've worked with in the past the people that i'm currently working with to kind of prep them uh we've been getting a lot of feedback that's another great thing is that this is going to be a seed launch. And so I have my people that I've been working with actually helping me design the course to ensure that I am in fact delivering what they need. So, cause sometimes, and that's another thing as a therapist where my hands were continually tied and I didn't know if I was actually it, it, working one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you can get feedback from them and, and all of that, but to be, to be able to provide something like this on a mass scale, you know, to be able to do like a seed launch where you're getting the feedback and they're actually helping you create something that then I can use ongoing for, you know, an X, X amount of time, you know? So it's really been awesome. So. That is so cool. So the seed launch, that's part of PLF. Mm -hmm. um, for some of you watching, you don't know what the seed launch is. You means you missed was it the second Robbie was that that was PLC two. That was the masterclass session two. Yeah. I'm getting them all mm -hmm. confused. They're all running together. That was masterclass session two. If you missed that, uh, Mark or Robbie can drop the links. You guys can go watch the replay of what the heck a seed launch is, but essentially, like you said, they're, they're helping you to create the course with you. Um, you're going through and you're learning just as much from them as they are from you, which is right. awesome. That's mm -hmm. the beauty of that. You've done this process. You've done it, I would imagine. You have courses and stuff now. You've done the sea launch how many times now? Um, I've done a sea launch one time before. Okay, so. just one time. Okay. Yeah. So this is a new product that you've got? Yes. You're, yes. You're before I was focusing just on cancer, Kate, like cancer survivors and their families. Mm -hmm. And now I'm focusing more broadly on trauma as a whole. Okay. Really because, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. So you're... For this, you probably have a, a small list or big list right now for that, or about 500. All right, 500 people, guys. Yep, like not tens not, of thousands, not big. <laughs> 500 people. She's gonna do a seed launch. What's your goal in terms of sales? I want, I want to sell at least uh 50 would be the most that I, that I could, yeah, okay. so 10%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's ambitious. Like in our, yeah. in our world, that's very ambitious. Okay. Ambitious. I'm not discouraging. I'm just saying that's ambitious. That That's just my point, guys. Like only 500 people, 50 paying customers. And so we can walk through this together real quick before we wrap up here, here, Jenna. But like what the seed launch looks like, guys, is that she's going to get these 500 people into, into the ecosystem, so to speak, and a certain number of them, hopefully 50 or 51 mm -hmm. or more. They're going to purchase and she has a good idea of what she's going to teach, but it's not all fleshed out. Right. I would imagine you probably, you, your guess is probably somewhere in the neighborhood. Most people we work with 70 to 80%. Yeah. You got the content, mm -hmm. but here's what's going to happen. You're going to do the, the lessons live on video telephone. Yep. I'm going to do webinars. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like a platform like zoom probably. Yep. Right? Zoom. Okay. Yes. It doesn't cost much, you know, at all. She's going to, I mean, less than, she, she'll pay for Zoom less than what she'll probably sell for one person or two people, guys. Okay. So the cost is not prohibitive. Her first student that signs up pays for Zoom. There you go. Um, I know you probably already have Zoom, but still, I'm just trying to give it to somebody <laughs> brand new. 
And then you're going to get on live and you're going to deliver the presentation, but then they're going to ask questions and they're going to say, I don't understand what you mean by that. Or I'm not, what, what did you mean? And that's, that's your cue to then address and answer their questions, but also uh -huh. to go back and review what you've taught uh -huh. and find the lesson. You have, you have 50 people asking questions, asking for clarification, telling you they don't understand something, giving you their stories. And then at the end of that, you're going to probably ask them a quick survey. What did you, what did you miss? You know, what did I not cover? You're going to ask them the pre-survey. What do I need to cover? Mm -hmm. And I, I, I always love this because I tell our, you know, like our students, you get paid to learn. Right. I guess the opposite of American education. How cool is that? And so that's <laughs> what the seed launch process is, guys. That's what Jenna's going to be going through in one week. Anything you would add to that, kind of what that's going to look like for you? Well, I also give assignments as part of the curriculum that I'm, that I'm going through. So when I get feedback on that each week, because I'll be doing webinars each week for five weeks in a row. Mm -hmm. And um, so that will also help me prepare for the following week. So it'll be yeah. crucial content in order to enhance even the program that I'm doing in the middle of my launch, in the middle of my first, you know, in the middle of the, pro of the program. So. And if you don't mind me asking, what's the, uh, what's the price on the, on the seed launch version? 497. So $500 times 50, you get to co-create this course yeah. with your students so that then you have a refined product in a few months and you get to make $25,000 while doing it. Right. Which is 50 really is on the high end, but that would be the dream. <laughs> yeah. That's the beauty of, of the seed launch. That's the beauty of product launch formula guys. And, and Jenna's literally, I mean, Eric started today with his big launch. Jenna, you're starting with a seed launch on a new product. And the cool thing is, this is what you're doing. You already have one product. You did a seed launch with it. Then mm -hmm. you create the full product. Now you're having a seed launch for the next product. And, um, and if you want to do 20 seed launches and have 20 products, you can do that and you get to, Oh my gosh, what's, I'm getting excited. Like, dude, Robbie, we need to have a product that we seed launch soon. Cause I'm like excited. I never thought I'd say that. I'm excited <laughs> to get the seed launch phase. And then I see like Mark, Mark's, I can already know Mark's watching it. He's like 20 seconds behind because he's watching live on Facebook because he can't watch here. And he's like, Mark just went, oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to create another product. Although we do have a new product coming out in a couple of weeks. I'll just seed that one there for you guys. Um, man, you got me excited about seed launches now, Jenna. Yeah. It's yeah, exciting. Awesome. I, yeah, it's fun. Well, so. any, let's say somebody's sitting on the fence as we wrap up here, somebody's sitting on the fence about whether or not to join PLF. We heard what Timby would do. Timby's exact <laughs> click the button and buy. <laughs> um, outside of that, is there, is there something maybe that you think you were thinking maybe a struggle that you went through a mindset shift you had to make prior to joining PLF that you would encourage uh, others to make and what, what advice would you give them? Well, for me, I had been looking for something like this because I was so fed up with being, with having my hands tied by the bureaucracy of my own profession. And so mm -hmm. if you're looking for freedom, if you're looking for the ability to truly touch lives, to impact more people, instead of altruistically thinking that you're affecting lives, truthfully, <laughs> like just do this. Like it, it's honestly transformational. So not just for you, but for others, they need you. So that's it. And that's it. Um, I would dare say, folks, and this is a dangerous thing to say because uh, it, it can come across the wrong way, but I, I would dare say that you owe it to the people whose lives you were going to change to to get in PLF. Like you, you, it sounds weird. You, it's a, and let's be honest. It's a marketing course Yeah. that you owe it to hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people to get PLF because uh, it shows you how to get them to, to join your community and to, for you to be able to transform their lives. And, and just like you're doing, Jenna, it's, it's just, it's amazing. Um, thank you so much. I mean, just amazing what you're doing. Uh, amazing story. And uh, I can't wait to see how this seed launch goes. Thank you. I'm really excited too. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. Thanks for being here. It's so awesome seeing your excitement. You're just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're just ready to do this. I am, I really am. It's, it's contagious. Excited. I mean, you got Matt excited about seed launches again. So. <laughs> Going back to the drawing board. So awesome. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you. Well, guys, as we wrap up, um, 
just want to recap, um, Robbie, I'll let you recap one more time. The bonuses again, I, all of the bonuses. He'll tell you in a second. I just want to highlight seven figure affiliate launch. And again, we're going to go through PLF with you. The link for that one last time, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash get PLF. mattmcwilliams.com forward slash get PLF. You heard from Mary, who's been in the PLF community forever. You heard from Stacy, who just joined and is super excited, and Timby and Eric and Jenna. Um, I, I can't say anything more than they've said. You know, we, we've had just since we've been live, Susan and Teresa and Denisa join. I'm trying to, I'm having internet issues. I can't refresh our, our list, but um, there we go. And, and Elizabeth, sorry. Okay. So Susan, Teresa, Denisa, and actually, you know, it's here's an irony. We've had quite a few PLF buyers. Every single one of them is female. Hmm. Interestingly enough, that is kind of crazy. <laughs> so, um, wow. They're all listening to Timby, you know. They're all female. empowering these That's women. Awesome. So, anyway, excited to see you, ladies and dudes. Like, get in, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we want to have some dudes on the calls um, when we do these, you know, when we're, we're literally going to go through the program with you and we're going to be on there doing these calls live. Um, so let's, let's have some guys on there as well. Guys, don't let, don't let the women take over, you know, <laughs> <laughs> if they do, that's totally cool too. Cause y'all yeah, ladies are amazing. So Robbie cover those last bonuses and then we'll wrap up here guys, as we're approaching two hours being live. All right. Bonuses one more time. Uh, bonus number one is destroy your limiting beliefs. It's a self-coaching guide um, to get over the internal game that you're playing and finally break through. Bonus number two is our list launch challenge. It's a $4.99 course um, that will allow you or help you go from even zero subscribers on your list to you know over a thousand. Um, so that's a great way, as you heard from so many people today, you don't even have to have a list to start with. Uh, bonus number three is our networking with purpose live is a great way to connect with influencers and get your message out there. Bonus number four is our seven figure affiliate launch course. This is our premier course on um, building those uh, joint venture relationships so you can take your launch to the next level. Uh, bonus number five is Matt's affiliate recruiting swipe files. These are not available anywhere else, um, but it is the exact scripts that we use in order to uh, recruit our own affiliates. Bonus number six is that affiliate promo checklist. Uh, you can literally just go down the list and check things off, follow a step-by-step -step system, dare I say a formula, you know. Um, and then finally, the last bonus, which we just announced today, bonus number seven is that we are going to go through PLF with you, our team. Um, I know I'm excited about this one. This will be my first time through PLF. Matt and Mark, this is going to be, uh, I don't know how many, they've been through it several times now, but this is just gonna be an opportunity for us to bring together um, all these people and really move your launch forward. So with that, Matt, I'll throw it back to you. I am responding to Floyd, who says, I just got in late, but PLF sounds um, like an awesome program. Um, and, and it is. It is, Floyd. It is, everyone. It is an amazing program. So mattmcwilliams.com forward slash get PLF. Get all those bonuses, over $5,000 worth of extra bonuses, plus everything we talked about today. You've heard from these folks. They believe in PLF. We believe in PLF. I, mean, I don't endorse products that I don't believe in. And I believe 1 million, 1 million percent in product <laughs> launch formula and Jeff Walker. So get in there, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash get PLF. We'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. I think we have to tell Mark to stop the. To yeah, I just, I just told him. <laughs> Bye, guys.